all of that wisdom can be seen through that one single eye. Now, the people know that that, that we was going to have a special chapter on David, and none of us could have predicted what the fuck this chapter was going to be. Hell, when we first saw this, when I was first seeing this, it was like, five pages, like, what the fuck, like, are we really getting five chapters, and I was like, ah, this is just really annoying me, I felt like really this but when you look at the chapter itself, you look at this as a perspective, and I think you have to be a real mind to show how fucking amazing Shinobu is, it by just doing these few chapters, I mean, I don't give a fuck, tie on fall away, but this chapter, was fucking great when we see this bit on David. So it starts off, like, let me just go, like, it's pretty much, I can go panel to panel with this stuff. Like, when we see, like, everyone there, like, we see, you know, Aladdin, we see everyone seeing this truth from there, and it looks like while they're all looking at, like, what Aladdin's projecting right now with the wisdom, it looks like David, from what we see, he's doing that, he's, like, he's seeing it. So David originally can see the look. He is the original holder of Solomon's wisdom, and we see from like one of the other panels itself, is that he was looking through like the flow of the rook, like um, it's very interesting because we're wondering like where he is right now, and that he was actually smiling and laughing, and that he records everything down in his book, and this is from everything we could see from David, like you, not to mention a crazy thing that I'll get into later on, but looking at the um what happened in this chapter, he was the original older of Solomon's wisdom. He's looking at that. He knows what's going to happen. And when he was recollecting in the book, it was just crazy because he knows what everything's going to happen. He knows that his son is going to beat him. He knows that he was going to be born. I was like, oh my, he was even saying like, I never even wanted a son. He's like, I had a desire for it. Like, I never had a desire for a son for the next past like 800 years. But in this moment, I think having a son is necessary. So like, everything is part of destiny. It's like, when I was first imagining of David, I thought he was going to be this corrupt and evil thought. But he just seems like, oh, I just doing this to destiny. It's like, he even admitted that, you know, death is his only enemy. This is the man, may I remind you, that is the god killer. The man that has been enslaving, like, these animals all the time. And I'm guessing the reason that he's been doing that is what everything through his eye has been telling him. I don't think David himself is an evil guy. He is literally doing what the rook, the flow of rook is telling him. And the guy can see the past, present, and future. And not to mention, he was saying that it's lonely there. And he's saying that his son is the only one that's actually be able to reach that top with him, because th this is the man that tries to kill a god that created the world right here. And he has this mission, he feels, to make make destiny continue going on. Like, and he feels like passing it like that. And he's just going to keep doing whatever he can until his son takes him over. And not to mention, as well, like, he feels like a god. Like, we when we first heard that he said that he was a god, I was like, oh, David, you think you're some on high-end stuff like that, you know, get your head out of your ass. But this guy has, from what we got, has no ill intention. He generally thinks that he is a god and that a cursed one at that because of his powers, because he is not normal like other human beings. And it shows, like, whatever happened for those past years, like, because he's been alive since magicians have had uh, magic. Whatever he got, he is one of the original, and I mean the original, magicians that we ever first saw like with uh, magic and i'm guessing that he was the one that got touched by eli himself like to get me given the magic and it was it's just like i'm sorry but when this chapter gives you like four pages or just like just looking at pictures like that and just one of huge texts like that i'm sorry it's like that, that, that's more text than i see in a fucking bleach chapter it's crazy like that and i know like but let me just get into that what that looked like. Lois, as well, and you know, as told this was like left around with a friend and all that. Notice something about Sinbad in that panel, and also know the appearance of David and who he looks like. Now we've already seen, you know, oh, that he's saying he's a reincarnation of, you know, Solomon. They say that about Aladdin, but the reason why Sinbad, and I mean it, Sinbad can be known as one of the single, like singularity that shouldn't exist in this world, is because. He has to be a reincarnation of David. It explains everything. The crazy amount of magoy. Like, the sort of leadership role. He, 
when we see data it's like what what Gyokuin could be possibly meaning about him being the singularity why Sinbad is this crazy karate guy like that is because of like he is the reincarnation of someone that can kill God one that is fucking sick that means Sinbad is now a person that can kill God three we still haven't seen the full power of this man not to mention the reason why he's probably like half fallen into bravery is because of how he is you know would be in a reincarnation of david maybe david was already like half depraved as well because we're seeing that Eli is turning pure black now it's a lot of things to see uh in this chapter and it's like uh, if that is going to be fucking sick that if we have aladdin versus sinbad father and son reunite it's like it'll be like some naruto you know Eli and actually sort of stuff but i think this won't be even more fucking epic i mean we've been predicting cohen versus sinbad but now we've got this potential of this uh, Aladdin versus Simba. I, I couldn't even tell you how that fight would go down. Like, that would be fucking sick. I can imagine, like, Simba going in with his freaking, like, just all this ginger jet he'd be manipulating it with Zephyr, he'd be also using as well. Like, just all of them. It would be a fucking crazy fight with Aladdin. Now we've seen how, like, we, there's got to be, like, a time skip after this progressing as well that I'm seeing. Like, because at the moment, I don't see Aladdin taking him on. But from what we've been seeing of what Solomon can do with the time bend, uh, time bending space like magic that he's had, I can see Aladdin getting a lot more crazier, strong, and actually be on that same level to fight the single singularity. And that is pretty much the reincarnation of Solomon's father, David. And it just looks like it's really fucking awesome. Like just just to see this much and just see it like I just love fucking manga, right, guys? It's just that I just fucking love. Maggie, and to see the five chapters just being done like this, it was really impressive for me from Chernobyl, and I really honestly cannot wait to see what else is going to happen out there. But prediction, I hope it comes true, and not to mention we still haven't even heard about these deaths yet that we haven't seen in Maggie, these major deaths, and it's like Chernobyl, fucking like just keep on with this. Like, I mean, yeah, the only thing is, I like, I still would like to see a little bit more. That was just like a huge cock tease to me, this um, little special chapter. And from the looks of it, we're not even getting the um, chapter 223 this week. So we've got to wait for next week. Although it might be depending because it is golden week next week. So I doubt any of the chapters come out. So I might have to wait two weeks for Buggy. Uh, overall, I fucking love this stuff. I just, it's crazy just to see how this done. Like, overall... If anyone of you guys haven't even seen Maggie yet, please just get into this fucking series. It is good when five pages make you have this sort of stuff. When when you just see this crowd, I just need to know your guys' opinion. What do you think on Daily So Far? The man himself that is known as the God Killer. Him being able to see the past, present, and future. And that he's even seeing right now the current timeline of everyone seeing their story. And it seems like he's laughing to see like, oh, someone's going to see my story now. It's going to be crazy. And also as well, the Sinbad, like, um, revelation as well, like, could that possibly be the incarnation of, like, of him, like, the reincarnation? I need to know your guys' opinion, because this shit is absolutely fucking off the chain. I fucking love it. Maggie for the win, people! I keep telling you, get into fucking Maggie. I've been reviewing this shit since, like, the one Sennies, and see, like, a year on later, that Maggie is still going strong? Fucking crazy! I fucking love this shit. It's... I, I, I said enough, I said it long enough, but just see this chapter, really good shit, my fans, be delighted, yeah, the only thing I can really complain about this chapter, yeah, five pages, still, doesn't excuse five pages, but from what those five pages we got, they were fucking phenomenal, like, I'll see you guys next time, because Maggie for the fucking win.